This weekend, you guys have Mankato. It's a WCHA team. Uh, do you guys approach them any differently than any other team? Um, no, I don't think so. I think the way we're playing now, we prepare for everybody the same, and every every game has a ton of meaning for us right now. So we just uh, got to come on and stick to our details. So. You guys have played them the last few years, and they've kind of had your number. Um, what do you see in that team, and what you're going to need to do to be successful against them? Yeah, I think they match up well against us. They have a lot of speed, so we just kind of have to counter that and play with our speed and, and uh, play physical with them and, and take care of pucks, get them past the defense when we're working down low. So. Played Niagara last week, one in a blowout, one in a close game. Uh, what did you guys take out of that series? Uh, we kind of took out of it that we have to play, uh, have to have better 60-minute efforts. Uh, I think we, in both games, we kind of lacked in, in some areas of our game, and uh, we got to tighten up a little bit defensively as far as taking care of pucks and um, just play 60 minutes of hockey this weekend. So. Yeah, I've heard that a couple different times throughout the first half of the year. Do you guys feel like you've put together a full 60-minute game yet this year? Uh, you know, I think we've been close a few times. You know, Miami, I thought we were pretty solid for, you know, about 55 minutes of the game, but... Uh, as far as putting together a full team effort, um, 60 minutes, I don't think it's been done yet. And it shouldn't be expected this early. That's something we want to do in March. We want to work to that, and that should be our peak. So, How do you assess the first half of the season now that we're pretty much at the end of it? Uh, it's been great so far. I mean, uh, I think it's exceeded a lot of people's expectations. I don't know. I think the, uh, the guys in the locker room set their, their sights high, and, and uh, we, we kind of knew we had something in the making uh, right from the start. So. So nothing's really surprised you here this first half? Well, I, I think definitely the, the win total has uh, surprised us. I think mean, college hockey is so competitive that uh, to get 13 wins in the, the first half of the year and maybe more this weekend uh, is pretty tough. So I think that surprised me a little bit, but uh, this team hasn't really surprised me. I knew this team was going to be a pretty pretty special team right from the start. So. You guys get Mankato this week. Um, what, do you, what do you guys see in them? Uh, they're a fast-paced team. They got good skill, and uh, you know we just got to play good defense against them. Last last uh, series of the first half of the season. Do you guys approach it any differently, being that you're going to be going up against a WCHA team? Uh, definitely. We were viewing this as a pretty pivotal weekend on the year. It's uh, right before the break, and it, it it determines if we have momentum going into the break, coming into the season after the break. So it's a pretty big weekend. How do you guys assess the first half of the season so far? Do you guys reach your goals? Uh, definitely. You know, winning's an expectation here, and I think uh, I think we've reached that. Last weekend, you guys uh, were able to sweep Niagara in a in a blow and a close game. How, what did you guys take out of that series? Uh, you know, Niagara's a, a very good team. You know, we all played them pretty bad the first night, but uh, it just proves you got to you got to bring your game every night. You guys have been playing really well. How are people treating you around town? I, I don't know, just about the same as always. Yeah? Yeah. Is it anything different than what the Frozen Four was at all? Uh, it's not quite there yet, but uh, if we keep winning, I'm sure it'll get there. What do you see in a team like Mankato? Um, you know, they're WCHA, they're fast, they're experienced, so um, them coming in is going to be a big challenge for us, for sure. Do you approach them any differently than any other team you've played this year? Um, I think every game right now for us is a big game. You know, those um, poles are out. And you know, we, we're not thinking about it, but obviously if we lose a game, you know, we're going to be back. So I think it's uh, it's key that every game from now on is a playoff game. So How important is it to finish off the first half of the year with a good couple games? Um, you always want to finish on a good note. You never want to go into a, a two-week break with, you know, that in the back of your head. So I think this is going to be a big weekend for us. Last weekend you guys played Niagara, won big and uh, won in a close game. What did you guys take out of that series? Um, just that, you know, you got to come both nights and just if you, you know, kick the crap out of somebody one night, they're going to come at you even harder the next night. So you got to be ready both nights. This is your first year here at Bemidji State. You're ending the first half and obviously the team is playing very well. Yeah. How do you react to how successful the team has been so uh, far this year? It's been great. I mean, I've had a chance to, to play. Uh, there's been some injuries, which has allowed me to play. So I just... Just keep going and have fun. Feel comfortable out there? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> kind of a little uh, different than junior, but uh, I'm getting used to it. So.